Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. Actually, welcome back to me. <laughs> we are back again for another uh, session of Children's Time with Rochelle. And um, as you can see, I'm back up in the Sunday school room. I think the last two times um, I was down in my office, so I'm glad to be back upstairs um, and utilizing this room again. So I can't believe it's already August. I hope your guys' summer has been well and that you've gotten to do some fun things and hopefully gone on some vacations um, and at least tried to stay out of the heat. Um, I can't believe in three weeks we're going to be going back to school. It makes me kind of sad, <laughs> but I guess that's how it goes, isn't it? All right, we'll go ahead and get started today. Um, our story today is actually called God's House. And before we get into the story, I have a couple things I want to do before the story, just kind of to set it up and talk about what our story is going to be about. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a little uh, rhyme that I want to teach you guys. And there are some actions. And this is kind of to help us remember that there is a place for you in God's house. And there's also a place for me in God's house. So we're going to use our hands for this. Um, and basically, it's just some hand actions. I'll go through it the first time um, just to show you how to do it. And then you guys can do it with me if you want. So first, we're going to have our hands like this. And we're going to do open, close them, give a little clap. Open, close them, rest them on your lap. Okay, so that's the first part. So go ahead. We'll try and do that one again. Open, close them, give a little clap. Open, close them, rest them on your lap. All right. Now we're going to add another verse. And this time we're going to make God's house with our hands. So I want you guys to just take your hands and put your fingers like this. And I want you to put your index fingers like that. So like it's like a steeple. Um, I had one that I did a long time ago that was like this. And you actually put your fingers in like this and close it and make a steeple. And here we go. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the door. And here's all the people. <laughs> so that's one that I had. But this one's different. So we have our hands. We're going to close up or grab our fingers, intertwine our fingers together, make our steeple. And here's our rhyme. So I'll do it this time. And then we'll do it again together. God's house. God's house doesn't have a key. God's house, God's house has a place for me. All right. So we'll go ahead and try that again. So inter intertwine your fingers, make your steeple. God's house, God's house doesn't have a key. God's house, God's house has a place for me. All right. So let's do the whole thing. Okay. Open. Open, close them, give a little clap. Open, close them, rest them on your lap. God's house, God's house doesn't have a key. God's house, God's house has a place for me. Good job. I hope that went well. We're going to do it again at the end, but we'll change it up a little bit. So, um, so just keep that in mind. It'll They'll stay a little bit the same, but there's going to be some changes. So, as I said before, we're going to be reading the story about God's house. And um, just like, um, I should back up a little bit before I get into this. So, how many of you guys like to do jigsaw puzzles or puzzles? I love them. I love to do the 1,000 piece puzzles. Um, and that's how I spend most of my free time in the winter. So just like a puzzle, I have a puzzle right here. And as you can see, some of the pieces are missing. And just like a puzzle, God's house has a special place for each one of us. Just like this puzzle, there's a special place for each piece. So as we put the puzzle together, this piece, you know, won't fit up here because it's not the right shape. So we have to put it right here, but the puzzle isn't complete until all the pieces are in, is it? 
and so we can't put this piece up there either because it's not the right shape but I think this one goes down here and I feel like this puzzle isn't complete until all the pieces are in their proper place and God's house isn't complete until all of us or each of the pieces is in its proper place. So there is that puzzle complete. And when we are all at God's house, God's house will be complete. All right. So that's kind of my intro to our story today. I'll go ahead and I will show you the picture. Um, here is our picture. I'm going to go on this side um, because I want you to look at this. So I think you're seeing... A fr these are Jesus's friends and I think you are seeing what they are imagining God's house would look like and how many windows are in this house let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine that's actually a lot of windows and that's a pretty big house isn't it all right so let's go ahead and we'll read the story and I want you guys to just listen carefully because I'll have some questions at the end and if you paid attention, you should be able to answer them. All right. God's house. Jesus taught his disciples many things. Don't be sad or worried, he said. Believe in God and in me. God's house in heaven is so big that everyone can have a room. I'm going there to get your rooms ready. Later, I'll come back and take you to God's house. You know the way to where I am going. Thomas and Philip looked confused. What way do you mean, they asked. Jesus said, I'm the way to know God. Because you know me, you know God too. I've taught you about life with God and the good things God wants you to do. Pray, ask me for anything and I will help you do it. Thomas and Philip smiled. We can follow you and do what you ask us to do. You are our way to heaven. We can live in God's house too. So basically Jesus is saying, it's getting time for me to get close to leaving and I'm going to go prepare your rooms in God's house and I'll be there waiting for you. So where is God's house? Where do you guys think God's house is? Well, in our church and being a Christian, um, we are often taught that, you know, God's house is in heaven. I shouldn't say we are often taught. We are always taught that God's house is in heaven. So we uh, believe that God's house is in heaven. So in our story, is there room for Philip and Thomas in God's house? Yes, yes. That's what Jesus said. He said, I'm going up to God's house and I'm going to get your rooms ready along with everyone else's rooms. In fact, God says that everyone can have a room in God's house. So there's room for Thomas and Philip. There's room for Squiggles. And I didn't even remember to show you guys Squiggles. There he is right down here. <laughs> He's saying, hmm, I think I might live like living in God's house. Um, there is room for us. There's room for me. There's room for you. There's room for mom and dad, brothers and sisters, grandmas and grandpas. So God's house is so big that everyone will have a room there. So I want you guys, in, just like in this picture, Philip and Thomas are imagining what they think God's house will look like. So as your activity this afternoon, I want you to go ahead and take a piece of paper and draw what you think God's house would look like. So I did my own and we can't comprehend really how big this house would be if it has rooms for everybody. So I kind of did like a high rise hotel with all these <laughs> windows, but I feel like God's house would be beautiful. Um, so I had to make sure to do some sun and trees um, and I put welcome on my above my door because I want everyone to know that they're welcome and God wants everyone to know that they're welcome. And I tried to do lots of windows. I didn't even count to see how many that is, um, but that's my idea of what God's house would look like. So I want you guys to do that too. Get a piece of paper and just draw what you think God's house will look like. All right. 
So we are almost time, almost finishing up for the day. Um, like I said before, we are going to um, do our rhyme again, but it's going to change a little bit this time. So we're going to do the, f we're going to do open, close them, open, close them, but there's a couple different things. So I'll do it again. We'll do the first verse and then um, I'll do it and then we can do it together and then we'll do the second verse. I'll do it and we can do it together and then we'll do the whole thing. All right, ready? All right, so we're going to go open, close them, let them run and play. Open, close them, make them go away. Okay, <laughs> so run and play is this and then go run and make them go away is behind your back. All right, ready? Open, close them, make them run and play. Open, close them, make them run away. All right. Okay, so second verse, we're going to do God's house again. Actually, we're going to do it a little different. I didn't read this. We're going to do God's house up here like this, okay? If we can see that, my hands above my head. So, um, all right, ready? God's house, God's house, a place for us to play, a place for me, a place for you, a place for all to stay. So I kind of messed it up. So it's going to go a place for you, a place for me, a place for you, a place for all to stay. Okay. All right. So we'll do that one again too. So we're here up here. God's house, God's house, a place to run and play. God's house, God's house, a place for me. I messed it up again. Ah, oh, all right. <laughs> place for us to play. Okay. God's house, God's house, a place for us to play. A place for me, a place for you, a place for all to stay. Okay, I did it. All right. Last time we're going to do the whole thing. So ready? Open, close them, let them run and play. Open, close them, make them go away. God's house, God's house, a place for us to play. A place for me, a place for you, a place for all to stay. <laughs> Woohoo! I did it. All right, guys, that is it for today. I have our prayer, and then I will let you guys go and enjoy your Sunday. Um, next week, if you haven't already signed up, um, you could still sign up today. Uh, actually on Monday, tomorrow, we start VBS, Vacation Bible School, and we'll be going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9.30 in the morning to 11.30. Um, and like I said, if you haven't signed up, um, there's still time to sign up today. Um, I can still get your registration in. And um, I hope you guys all make it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so if you're not at VBS next week, um, and I don't get to see you, um, have a good week. And like usual, I will not have children's time next Sunday, but the Sunday after, um, I will be back with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and say our prayer. We're going to do God's house like this for our prayer. And when, um, I'm praying, go ahead and think of your favorite places and just make sure to thank God for those. So we'll put our hands over our heads like this. And we'll pray. Dear God, thank you for our favorite places. Thanks for your house with a place just for me. Amen. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye.